Here are the results I obtained after applying these settings on my PC. As you can see, the FPS is much more stable and overall system performance has improved significantly. In today's video, I'm bringing you the ultimate Windows optimization guide to help you boost FPS, reduce lag and get the best performance out of your PC. Whether you're struggling with stutters, frame drops or just want to make your system run smoother, these tweaks will make a huge difference. So stick around till the end and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Let's step guys, we'll optimize CPU performance by modifying the Windows registry. These tweaks will unlock maximum processing power, ensuring smoother gameplay and better responsiveness. Start by searching for Registry Editor in the Windows search bar, right-clicking it and selecting Run as Administrator. Once the editor is open, navigate to the registry path provided in the description by copying and pasting it into the address bar, then pressing Enter. This will take you to the settings where you can disable CPU core parking, which ensures your processor operates at full capacity without being restricted. Now, locate the max value within the registry editor. Right-click on it, select Modify, and change the value data to 100 to allow your CPU to run at its maximum power. Ensure that the base is set to hexadecimal, then click OK to apply the changes. Next, find the minimum value, right-click it, select Modify, and set the value to 0 to prevent unnecessary power-saving limitations. Again, set the base to hexadecimal, then click OK to confirm the update. To further optimize performance, we need to ensure that foreground applications are prioritized. Copy the second registry path from the description, paste it into the registry editor's address bar, and press Enter to navigate to the correct location. Look for Win32 Priority Separation, right-click it, and choose Modify. In the value data field, enter 26, set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. This tweak ensures that active applications receive more CPU power, reducing stutters and improving responsiveness while gaming. Alright guys, now go ahead and download the Ultimate Windows Optimization Pack from my website. The link is in the description. You can verify it using any trusted virus detection tool or website. It's completely safe and free from any malware. Once you've downloaded the pack, navigate to the Windows Registry Optimization folder. Here, you'll find a set of carefully selected registry tweaks designed to enhance system performance. Apply all the recommended tweaks to optimize your PC for a smoother and more responsive gaming experience. Now open the CPU Optimization folder, where you'll find several essential files designed to enhance your processor's performance. These files need to be installed one by one, so make sure to carefully follow the instructions provided to ensure a correct installation. Each file is optimized to tweak CPU performance, reduce latency, and improve system responsiveness. Next, navigate to the CPU Priority folder, where you'll find two subfolders, one for Intel CPUs and another for AMD CPUs. Choose the folder that corresponds to your processor type. If you are using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and install the file included there. Likewise, if you are using an AMD CPU, open the AMD folder and install the respective file. These optimizations prioritize your CPU for foreground applications, ensuring smoother gameplay and better performance in resource-intensive tasks. Next, navigate to the Ultimate Windows Tweaker folder and launch this powerful optimization tool. Once the program is open, switch to the Performance tab. Here, enable all the recommended optimizations to enhance system efficiency, such as disabling auto-starting programs and unresponsive apps, enabling the Restart After Error option, and turning off visual effects like smooth scrolling and Microsoft Edge preloading. These changes help reduce unnecessary system strain freeing up both CPU and RAM to boost gaming performance. Additionally, disable unnecessary Windows services such as Tablet Input Service if you're not using a touchscreen, Windows Security Center only if you have third-party antivirus installed, and Prefetch Service which manages temporary data and can slow your system over time. Now move to the additional tab and apply network tweaks to optimize your internet performance. These tweaks include enabling the onboard network adapter processor, limiting anonymous connections, disabling unused network services like recent shares and default admin disk share server, and hiding your network from network discovery and the browser list to improve security. Once you've made these changes, click Apply Tweaks to finalize the optimizations. Next, open the Filter Key Setter tool to fine-tune keyboard responsiveness. Right-click the program, select Run as Administrator, and confirm the prompt. 
Once inside, go to the Settings tab and adjust the following values. Set, Ignore. Under to 0, Ms. Repeat Delay to 250 Ms's and Repeat Rate to 25 Mms. Under the Flag option, check On to enable it. Then, in the Available Turn On section, check Use Shortcut, uncheck Confirm Activation, check Activation Sound, but ensure the actual sound is turned off and disable both Show Status and Key Click options. After finalizing these adjustments, set When Applied to Save to Registry and click OK to save your changes. Once completed, you can safely delete the Filter Key Setter application as all settings are now permanently stored in the registry. Next, we'll use the ShutUp 10 Plus Plus application, which is a powerful tool for optimizing Windows privacy settings. The best part is that there's no need to install it, just double-click the executable file to open it. Upon launching, you'll notice that some options are already enabled by default, which are the app's recommended settings. However, you can disable or modify these settings based on your preferences. If you've used this app before, it will notify you about any previous changes, giving you the option to either accept or revert them. Keep in mind that certain Windows updates may reset or undo some of these optimizations, so it's a good idea to review these settings after every system update. The app has two main tabs, Current User and Local Machine. In the Current User tab, you'll find settings related to privacy, activity history, clipboard settings, app privacy, Microsoft Edge configurations, Windows synchronization, Cortana, if you're still on Windows 10, Windows Copilot, User Behavior Settings, File Explorer Tweaks, Lock Screen Adjustments, Search and Taskbar Modifications, and various other miscellaneous options. The Local Machine tab contains similar settings, but also includes additional security options and Windows Update Configurations. Before making any changes, you have the option to export your current settings and import them onto another system if needed. Once you're ready to apply the changes, you can choose between different levels of recommended settings. Green, fully recommended settings that enhance privacy and security without affecting system stability. Yellow, a mix of recommended and somewhat recommended settings that may slightly alter certain Windows functionalities. All settings applies every available tweak in the app, including some that may disable Windows features. Additionally, you can undo all changes or create a system restore point before making adjustments, which is highly recommended in case you need to revert any modifications. Once you've applied the recommended settings, simply close the app. Now, let's move on to the MSI utility, which is essential for further optimizing system performance. Open the application with administrator privileges by right-clicking on it and selecting Run as administrator. When the tool launches, it will display a list of devices that support message signaled, interrupts, MSI, which can help improve system responsiveness and reduce latency. Locate your network adapter in the list and set its priority to high to ensure stable and optimized network performance. Next, find your GPU in the list and set its priority to high as well, enhancing graphical performance and reducing input lag. After selecting these devices, check the boxes for the ones you wish to enable MSI mode on, then click Apply to activate the changes. This tool is especially useful for reducing hardware-related latency and improving overall system efficiency, ensuring a smoother gaming experience. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. 
This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now in the next step guys, we'll optimize virtual memory to enhance system stability and gaming performance. By manually configuring the paging file size, we'll ensure smoother gameplay and reduce performance drops. Open the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings, and select the matching result. In the System Properties window, click on the Settings button under the Performance section. When the Performance Options window appears, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on the Change button. You'll see an option labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Uncheck this to configure the settings manually. Next, select your local disk as C, as this is where the virtual memory will be allocated. Now in the custom size fields, set the initial size to 1361 MBOB, which is an optimal value for stability. For the maximum size, you'll need to calculate the appropriate value based on your RAM size. Open the calculator and multiply your total RAM by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 by 1024 to get 16384 MBB. Now divide this number by two and enter the result in the maximum size field. Once you've entered the values, click set, then click OK to apply the changes. Virtual memory helps Windows by acting as extra memory when your system's RAM is fully utilized. This ensures that games and other demanding applications run smoothly, reducing lag and preventing performance drops. Now in the next step guys, we'll disable unnecessary background services that drain system resources. Turning these off will free up memory and CPU power, ensuring a smoother and more responsive gaming experience. To start, open the Windows search bar, type services, and click on it from the search results to open the services manager. Here you'll see a long list of background services. Many of these aren't required for gaming and can be safely disabled to optimize system performance. While I have an in-depth video covering all the unnecessary services to disable, I'll walk you through some of the most important ones right now. First, scroll to the B section and find BitLocker Drive Encryption. If you're not using BitLocker, right-click on it, select Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, and click Stop to halt the service immediately. Click Apply and OK to save the changes. Next, go to the C section and locate Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This service collects and sends diagnostic data to Microsoft, which isn't needed for gaming. Right-click it, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, click Stop, then apply and save the changes. Now scroll to the D section and find Distributed Link Tracking Client. This service is mainly used for network-based file tracking, which most gamers don't need. Disable it the same way, right-click, open properties, set startup type to disabled, stop the service and apply the changes. Another unnecessary service is Remote Registry under the R section. This allows remote access to registry settings, which can be a security risk. Right-click it, go to Properties, change Startup Type to Disabled, stop the service and apply the changes. Finally, if you prefer manually checking for Windows updates rather than having them automatically downloaded, scroll to Windows Update. Right-click it, select Properties, set Startup Type to Manual or Disabled, then apply and save the settings. Once you've disabled these services, close the Services Manager and restart your PC for the changes to take effect. This will help reduce unnecessary background tasks, free up system resources, and improve overall gaming performance. Now in the next step, guys, we'll tweak GPU settings for maximum performance. By adjusting power management and texture filtering, we'll ensure smoother gameplay and a solid FPS boost. Open the NVIDIA Control Panel, or AMD Radeon settings, and go to Manage 3D Settings. Change Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance to ensure your GPU runs at full capacity instead of throttling performance to conserve power. Next, find Texture Filtering Quality and set it to High Performance. This prioritizes speed over visual details, reducing GPU workload for better efficiency. These adjustments will improve overall system stability, reduce lag, and give you a noticeable FPS boost for a much smoother gaming experience. Now in the next step, let's fine tune your system to boost gaming performance and ensure smooth, lag-free gameplay. Open the start menu, click on settings, go to system and select storage. Then click on temporary files and let the scan complete. Check all options except downloads 
unless you want to delete those files, then click Remove Files and Confirm. The cleanup may take a few minutes, but it will free up valuable system resources. Since junk files keep piling up over time, it's best to enable Storage Sense to automate the process. In Storage Sense settings, set it to run daily or weekly and adjust the Recycle Bin and Downloads cleanup settings based on your preference. Now, let's optimize your privacy settings to reduce background activity and free up system resources for better gaming performance. Open Settings, go to Privacy and Security and select General. Here, disable all options, including Let apps show me personalized ads. Allow websites to show me locally relevant content. Let Windows improve start and search results by tracking app launches and show me suggested content in the settings app. Turning off these options will prevent apps from accessing unnecessary data and reduce system resource consumption. Next, go to the speech section and turn off online speech recognition if you don't use voice related features like dictation or Cortana. If you are not using any online speech services, disabling this option will prevent Windows from running background processes related to voice recognition. Then navigate to inking and typing personalization and disable it if you don't want Microsoft to collect and use your typing data for text suggestions. After that, go to Diagnostics and Feedback and turn off Send Optional Diagnostic Data to prevent Windows from sending extra data about your system to Microsoft. However, if you are part of the Windows Insider program, you will need to keep this option enabled to receive Insider updates and feedback features. If you are not in the Insider program, disabling it will help reduce unnecessary data transmission and improve performance. Now go to the App Permissions section and adjust various permissions to prevent background processes from using system resources. Click on Location and disable it if you don't use location-based services like Maps or other apps that require your location. Then go to Camera Settings. If you don't use a webcam, Zoom or any video conferencing apps, turn off camera access to prevent background usage. If you do use the camera for video calls, you can keep it enabled. Next, click on Notifications and disable notification access for apps to reduce distractions and prevent unnecessary background processes from running. Now go to Messaging and turn it off if you don't use the People app or any built-in messaging services. For the radio setting, it's important to leave this option enabled. Some users suggest disabling it, but doing so may cause issues with Bluetooth functionality. Keeping it enabled ensures that Bluetooth and other wireless features continue to work properly. You should also check other app permissions such as contacts, phone calls, call history and emails. If you don't use the built-in email client or other communication related apps, you can disable their permissions to prevent them from running unnecessary background tasks. Any app that you do not use should have its permissions disabled to optimize system performance. The final step is to remove unwanted applications. Go to Apps, then Installed Apps, and look for programs that you don't use. Uninstalling unnecessary or pre-installed Windows apps will free up memory and system resources, ensuring that more power is allocated to gaming instead of background processes. Many built-in apps continuously run services in the background, so removing them will not only free up storage space, but also reduce CPU and RAM usage. If you find any application that you never use, uninstall it to maximize system efficiency. Now guys click on Gaming tab. Once inside, make sure Game Mode is enabled. This feature optimizes system resources by reducing background activity, allowing your PC to focus on delivering the best gaming performance. Turning on Game Mode helps minimize stutters and lag, especially in demanding titles, leading to a much smoother experience. Next, let's adjust the game bar settings to stop unnecessary background processes from consuming system resources. While still in the gaming settings, locate the game bar option and disable it. The game bar includes features like screen recording and streaming, but it also runs in the background using up system power. By turning it off, you ensure that more resources are dedicated to gaming rather than non-essential tasks. By making these privacy adjustments and removing unused apps, your PC will allocate more resources to gaming rather than unnecessary background tasks. This helps improve overall performance, minimize lag, and ensure a smoother gaming experience. That wraps up today's video. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy gaming.